What's going on YouTube? Champion Productions coming back at you with another Nerf video. And in today's video, in front of me, I have the Nerf Rival Takedown. I really like this gun because it's a pistol grip shotgun. I like Nerf shotguns. I think they're really cool. Um, this is a eight round uh, internal magazine blaster. It's pretty cool. Pump action. Pretty solid on the box. This thing claims to have ranges or has power of 80 FPS, which isn't bad. 80 FPS, 80 feet per second, ain't bad. Uh, again, it's a pump action, pistol grip, angled grip, which I really like. Um, a lot, some people don't like angled grips. Uh, I do, personally. Uh, it's just my, my preferred look for this kind of shotgun. Really like the color scheme of the gun, but if you've seen the thumbnail of the video, you know I'm not reviewing just the blaster itself. Again, this blaster puts out about 80 FPS max right out of the box, which isn't bad. That's 80 feet per second with a spring-powered shotgun. So overall, that's not bad, but I think we can do a little bit better with what I have set up for today. I would like to mention our sponsor for today's video, Jonathan. He has donated this K26 frame from outofdarts.com, so be sure to go check out his music, which I will link in the description box below. Be sure to go check it out. It will be out sometime in the near future. Yay! All right, so we are outside right now, and we're just going to get some first uh, shots just to see what it's like right out in the box. So I'm going to go ahead and load a couple more rounds. I have put some rounds in here prior to uh, coming outside but uh, just put a couple extra in there. So first shot, this is gonna be level, level shot. We're gonna do a little bit more angled and we're gonna do straight up. We lost one in the ditch. Let's go find those. We have a marker right here. We're just gonna set the, uh, the blaster down and measure that and go and find those uh, rival rounds. All right, so We've come down to our first rival round. This is at 74 foot. This was the angled, uh, pretty much straight up. Uh, that was the one, that was the last shot I made. And we're right here at the last two. So we're gonna calculate those in and see what our total range is. All right, this is the uh, first one, I think. I'm not 110%. Okay, that's the second one. Yeah, because the first one was in the ditch, right? No, the first one, the first one was the last one. The one we found first was in the ditch. That was the last one we shot. Oh. I think this one's the, because the angle one got a little bit further. I don't, I don't know. Here's one over here. Um, this is at, this is at the, what is that, 70 foot mark? That one's 75. Uh, okay, that's 75 foot mark behind us. 75 plus another 8 feet, that's, so this is at the 80 second foot mark. And then down here we have at another 18 feet, so eight, nine, 10, 89. 11, 89. So this blaster will shoot roughly around 89 to 90 feet. To begin this modification procedure, you're first going to need a Nerf rival takedown, a K26 spring, and a screwdriver. All right, before we begin the modding procedure for all this, I would like to mention that the packaging that this K26 spring comes in is actually a very cool. Uh, it's got the Out of Darts logo and everything on the front. We had it custom fitted by uh, Luke Goodman from Out of Darts, and he actually gave all the details of what it is. He, we custom fitted it on the Out of Darts website. So, very nice. Anyway, let's proceed. Let's tear this bad boy open. Here it is. It's been very nicely wrapped um, with the takedown logo on the front. And let's open this up. Okay, there we go. Oh! There it is. Our K26 oh. spring. Pretty right strong on. spring. <laughs> it's a pretty strong spring. I would like to go over the fact that on the inside of the package, um, when you open it up and take your spring out, you also get a uh, little business card and they actually send you a out of darts sticker which is pretty cool so business card sticker i think that's really cool um nice little bonus all right before we begin modifying the blaster you want to make sure that each screw stays with its proper screw hole 
Uh, we disassembled this and uh, just ahead of time just to see what the mechanics look like on the inside just to make sure that we could reassemble it and uh, we accidentally misaligned one of the screws and the outcome of this could be a, a stripping the screw or the screw hole or having a bunch of these marks right here. So another tip for when you go to modify this thing to make it a little bit easier to get all the internal components out just go ahead and prime it so that way the spring is already compressed and you will see why that makes a difference once we get it opened. And let's get to cracking open this blaster. For the big reveal, everything should come apart relatively smoothly. If not, check some of the screws. But we have done it, keeping all the shoes in their independent holes on the shell. This is what the internals look like. All right, now that we've got everything opened up, have our K26 spring on standby, we're going to want to remove this whole black piece right here because that houses the spring. So that's the whole spring mechanism. So um, one thing I do recommend doing, if you're not familiar with the blaster, go ahead and take a picture of it in this state before you touch anything because if you can't remember where something goes, it can cause you to mess up your blaster and that's just not what you want. So we're going to start by moving this whole assembly up and just pulling this out just like so. Now that we have this black section here, you'll notice that it is pre-compressed. This is what happens whenever you prime it. You just wanna take this and hold it with your two fingers and slowly let the old spring uncoil. There we go. Set that off to the side, put the new spring in and it should fit rather smoothly. Now what you gotta do is get, this has a notch on the plunger, which will notch into this yellow section here on the back. So we're just going to give this all a nice little push down on the table. Oh, oh that is a tight and clean fit. That's rather difficult to do and that really kind of hurt my hand. Um, yeah, now we got all this uh, done, we can now begin to put it back together. All right, now that we have all of our components ready to rock and roll, we're simply going to take all this and uh, merely reverse the steps that we did to get it out. So just move this in and just like so. This section right here will drop in. There's a little notch made for it like that. And there you have everything ready to go. All that's left to do now is reshell the blaster. All right, old spring. I have the new spring in the gun. I have not yet shot it nor primed it, so, okay. Holy cow, that's, that's impressive. That's quite a bit of difference. Oh my word. Okay, let's take this thing outside and see what it can do now. All right, we're back outside and put some more rival rounds in here. I'm not going to use all of these, but... All right, let's see what the K26 modified rival takedown can do. <laughs> we'll shoot one more downrange. This is insane. That is impressive. That's well over 100 feet. Let's uh, break out the measuring tape and uh, measure it. <laughs> All right, so we just did the math for this. This shot, roughly at max right here, this ball right here, 125 feet out of a Nerf gun. That's absolutely crazy. All right, so we've decided this thing shoots at least 125 feet now. That's insane. So, what we're going to do, we are inside. This room is approximately, what, 25 feet? 
Huh? This room lengthwise is approximately 20, 20. 20 feet. So, you still got 100 extra feet worth of energy. So, me and Jonathan are going to rock, paper, scissor it, and whoever loses, uh, best two out of three? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, best two out of three has to take the full capacity, all eight shots from the modded takedown. So, no cuts, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Six, seven, and eight. This is the part of the video where I shoot our sponsor. And empty. So overall, once everything's modified and the blaster is all geared up, is this worth doing? Absolutely. The blaster itself is like 20 bucks. Even if you don't get the spring, it still looks good and does have a good like out of the box functionality. Like it still fires really well. And the the the, the spring itself was only at a total $9.18 for the modified uh, K26 spring. We had this specially modified on the Outer Dark store. We counted the coils, we measured the spring, and it was sent perfectly. And it could not be a better fit for this gun. There's no spring rattle. It's really well done. Could not have been done better. But do I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. If you can get your hands on the rival takedown, get your hands on the K26 spring that's custom fitted to this blaster, it's definitely worth it. You're taking a blaster that is shooting roughly 80 FPS out of the box and upgrading it to shoot roughly around 130 FPS, and that range will get you for about 125 feet. That's a really, for pretty much 30 bucks, that's a good deal. So, stay. I said stay. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like. Comment what you think of the Rival Takedown mod in the comment section below. And be sure to leave a like for Jonathan. Comment, thank you Jonathan, in the comment section below. Because without him, this video wouldn't be possible. Again, go check out his music in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Champer Productions, signing off.